So, in my opinion, and when I say this, I mean absolutely no shade whatsoever. I mean no harm. In my humble opinion, I think that if this continues, then Megan Thee Stallion is going to be extremely stagnant. And she is not going to be able to grow. <sighs> Let's get into it, shall we? Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, YCV, man. Look, so over the weekend, I listened to Megan Thee Stallion's album, uh, Good News. So here's the issue. I got exactly what I was expecting. And I feel like that, so far as an artist goes, that's not a great thing. But it's not just her. That's the case with many different artists. And that's the same reason why I'm not too invested into many different artists. Like my, my, and me personally, in my opinion, for my favorite artist, I never know what I'm necessarily going to get from the project or the mixtape or the album or whatever. My favorite artist is Big Sean. I did not know what I was going to get from Detroit. What I got from I, I decided was completely different from something like Dark Sky Paradise. Like he, he puts you in these different, in these different moods, uh, to say the least. Now in Megan The Stallion's case. We know what Megan Thee Stallion is about. It's about her, how, how she a bad bitch, how she's better than any other female, how she still niggas, she shake her ass, you know, ride dick, blah, 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 blah. Um, which not, which isn't a bad thing. Like, it's not like you can't talk about that stuff. Like, I, on, I honestly really don't care. But because of that, this album was not for me. And that's fine. That is completely fine. But here, here is where the issue lies, right? The issue lies with her continuing to do this because after a while when people figure out that that's all she's going to talk about it's it's gonna get a little regurgitated so she cannot keep this up now guys before i go on let me just say this i think megan the stallion is extremely talented i have nothing bad to say about the woman i think that uh i think that she can rap and i think that her abilities and I think that her ability is is greater than just talking about, you know, what I said earlier, you know, shaking your ass, stealing niggas, blah, 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 saying how, how good you, your pussy is, blah, 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 blah. I think she's better than that. Once again, it's not a bad thing to talk about that stuff, but I feel like if that's all you talk about in your music, then you are going to run into some issues because people are going to get sick of it eventually. And and honestly, this is a uh, this is a, a, a tricky topic because I feel like women, female rappers, feel like that they have to talk about this stuff in order to be relevant. And unfortunately, there is a lot of truth to that, a lot of truth. So, for example, Rhapsody. Rhapsody is easily one of the best lyricists out right now. I'm talking about she's on par with J Cole and and Kendrick like she she's up there rhapsody is like so far as like quote n new artist or whatever she's been around for a long time but a lot of people may not know who she is but in those standards she's easily top three like her i put her and jid really close to each other she can spit she is better than your favorite <laughs> than your favorite rapper she's better than your rapper's favorite rapper I'm just saying, and she doesn't talk about those specific things like riding dick, you know, not, again, not saying this is a bad thing, um, you know, dancing, twerking, saying how good your vagina is. Like, she doesn't rap about that stuff. She raps about personal experiences, love, a bunch of different stuff, and she has range. But see, the issue with Rhapsody is people don't care about that shit, all right? And I... I hate that because I most definitely think she deserves more recognition than what she is getting right now. So with Megan Thee Stallion, with Megan Thee Stallion, she has the recognition right now. And she is talking about those things that, you know, people will expect a female artist to talk about. Now, because of that, I feel like she is putting herself in this box and I don't fuck with that. 
as an artist you should never keep yourself in that one specific box i don't know what megan Thee is going to do later in the future but i feel like her constantly you know talking about these particular subject matters once again it's not bad but it's going to get regurgitated at a certain point and you don't want that you want to feel fresh i use this example a lot so with kanye west when college dropout came out late registration and graduation came out right that is the trilogy so the next album was already was always better the next album was always better and he would expand on what he was all already doing but after graduation he felt like he needed to take a different turn so then he came out with 808's heartbreak uh, an, an album that's just auto-tuned out and he's singing and it it worked it worked because it felt fresh it felt extremely fresh and it was different that's one thing i have a lot of respect when it comes like i have a lot of respect for when it comes to kanye because he never wants to put himself in that box and he doesn't allow himself to be put in the box so not saying that this is going to happen but if she keeps this up and doesn't change something then people are going to get sick of her and i don't want that because megan the stallion is extremely talented like i know that she can rap she is more than what she raps about and i and i respect her and i want nothing to bet i want nothing but the best for her but i understand you getting the money what you're talking about right now like that's fine but what about five years or six years later from now you know are you still going to be talking about the same thing if you are people are going to get sick of it so i just yeah man i i i don't i don't know i i pray that i'm wrong and that she doesn't stay in this box but um that's kind of how how it's looking now i just I just want her to be more versatile and once again this is no shade this is my opinion i like megan the stallion um some of her songs i i actually do like but i can't <laughs> but i can't listen to all her shit because none of it really applies to me personally and i feel like that's another thing as an artist i feel like your music should possibly like you should possibly it should possibly apply to everybody men women homosexuals you know people of different color like people should relate to it somehow i'm not a fee i'm not a bad bitch so i don't know i i personally do not want to listen to that all the time because i'm not a bad bitch but i like her and i just don't want herself to, in my opinion she has too much talent for her to just put herself in this specific box so I know the first few years of her being like, as she gets bigger, it's going to be this, That that's fine. But afterwards, I would really like to see a bigger progression. Now, I'm not gonna be before you, before you long. So let's, let's talk about the album a little bit. Literally, there are only a couple of songs that I genuinely liked. And there's one big, there's one song that I had an extreme issue with. Um, well, a couple of songs I had an extreme issue with um i like i like go crazy with big sean and and, and two chains obviously i mean I, that that song was dope uh let's see here i actually did like that song with, <laughs> with with the city girls i mean that was cool um but let's let's talk about i'm gonna talk about two songs that i really had an issue with right let's talk about shots fired mm, shots fired really made me cringe let me explain to you why it made me cringe so as if you guys don't already know you know there's this whole situation with tory lanes and meg the stallion allegedly apparently tory lanes shot meg the stallion in the foot and it was a whole thing blah 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 yada 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 i wanted her to rap on a fresh beat like something new something we never heard before i wanted her to rap on something new and fresh and i just wanted her to like spit to just diss this nigga right she used the who shot your beat she used biggie's who shot your beat do you know how corny that is and predictable and i said this before i said if she uses who shot you i swear to god i'm going to be pissed because you're better than that i i just feel like there was no originality in it and it was and with her flow it did not sit well with with me like I mean, yes, granted, the BPM was was sped up and who shot you? It was more so like like a sample, right? But still, it just didn't sit right with me. And I feel like you had 
so much potential to make something dope make something new especially if this is a, a diss track you don't i i don't like people going on using other diss track beats to make another diss track it's cool sometimes but most of the time i'm just like eh, come on like the only time i really loved it was uh was remy Rem ma with Nicki minaj and, and sheether that that was fine that that was dope but man i just it, it's just getting so so corny to me i just want you to do something original and be be creative about it like drake's back to back oh my gosh that is one of the best diss tracks of all time but yeah the, with the who shot your sample i was not feeling it because i was expecting it i should not as a, as the consumer i should not know what you are going to do on this album like i do not want you to be predictable like put yourself out there get more creative uh be less predictable but that's all i have to say about who shot you now another song that i just plain hate on there and i know females love it because i've seen it everywhere <clears throat> Excuse me. Body yaddy 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 Fuck! I cannot stand that song. It gives me a headache. Oh my gosh. The chorus. The chorus. The chorus, man. It's just... You see... Did you guys hear how annoying that was? I annoyed myself. I had to stop. There's not much to say about it. I just wanted to make that statement. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, man. See, I have no qualms with Megan Thee Stallion. I have nothing but positive things to say about Megan Thee Stallion. I just want I just want her to put herself out there more. That's literally it. Meg, do not put yourself in a box. I want you to ex expand on who you are as an artist. And yeah, you do not have to talk about these things just to, you know, be huge, you know? Anyway, guys, that was pretty much the video. Please do me a favor and do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And, guys, let's run up the subscribe button, please. I'm at 972. Come on. Let's get to 1K. I am sick of this. Let's get to 1K, man. I am truly sick of this. Let's go. Roll to 1K. Let's do it. But with that being said, man, I'm out. Peace.